morning everybody. It's October the 27th. It's a beautiful day. It's warm. It's not cold at all. The wind's blowing a bit and I'm back on this land where if you saw the last video I found a silver hammered on here somewhere that down there somewhere I found it. Uh, there's one other thing I want to say. Lots of people have been saying where's David uh, and um, lots of people have been saying you've had an argument with him again another argument well you're liars because look who's here <laughs> what do you mean another <laughs> argument when did we have an argument the first time no 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 i'm saying people are saying i'm having arguments with people oh, oh, yeah, yeah. and you was another argument you ah. know no. but anyway no the truth of the matter is david's been really busy he's probably going to be moving quite soon uh, and school started again, but it's a national holiday t today and yesterday, so he's got time. So here he is. <laughs> so I am moving, but I'm not moving out of Austria. I'm not even moving out of Vienna. I'm just moving into a house in Vienna. So from an apartment to a house. So he's going to be busy again, I guess, soon. So I haven't seen David for a few months now, but anyway, he's here. Uh, we're coming on this land. Basically, this land's done, but the reason I, I bought David here is because... Um, I don't know, when I do something, David normally follows up uh, and he finds something else. So uh, I'm pretty sure that this guy's going to come off with stuff it, uh, on here today. Uh, but I'm going to take him to the bit that I think is not so well done, which is over the other side here. A pesky shotgun cartridge. OK, got to show you this. David's just come over. David's just found this. And that is, let's get it in the sunlight. That's probably, uh, yeah, it's a copper hammered. Oh my god, that is a beautiful find. That's it's not silver, but what a beautiful find that is. And he said he's finding tons of pottery lot. I mean, this is just the stuff that I'm picking up. The bigger stuff. Cool. I I'd like to see that. That looks very similar. Do you remember the one I found that's about uh, 900 and something? You mm -hmm. found it on the internet. Was it 9 to 1100 yeah, or something? Like that, yeah. uh, it looks very similar. It's a similar size. That's uh, it's a beautiful copper hammer, that is. It's a big one too. I would dearly like to see that cleaned up properly. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, what it's is. a copper hammer. It's got, it can't be anything else. But it's a big one. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. This rang up as a 7172 signal. This was the last thing I expected. I thought it might be a piece of a, a shotgun cartridge or something like that, but. That's what it's turned out to be, a little heart with a, some sort of an emblem on it. Can't make out what it is. Uh, but that's a nice little find, that. And it's bronze or something because it's all green or copper. And it's still got the, the hook on it there. And you can see where the hook's bent. Maybe that's where they lost the string or the chain on it. That's a nice little find. I like it. David's called me over a couple of minutes after I found that pendant. It's got hammered. And if David says it's hammered... So he's got a nice silver hammered and I knew there were more on this field and I know there's a lot more to come yet and we're doing it like I say the opposite way so let's go and have a look see what he's got then perfect so 55 61 yeah yeah 61. yeah beauty that's a nice big hammered oh that's in good condition oh, yeah. let me if I may look at that you can see stuff on there that's an early one too that is Nice fine day, beautiful hammer that is, that will clean up beautiful. You will see a lot of detail. Uh, David will send me pictures of his oh, finds yes. and uh, I'll put them on this video. So it'd be nice to see that cleaned up. But That'll be a nice I can almost see that now, David, as, as a twist it. I know. You can see a lot of detail on there. That'd be awesome when it's That's cleaned beautiful. up. Well done. I got this really odd signal from the high 30s to uh, mid 40s and uh, and it's obviously a piece of jewellery or something, maybe a button, I don't know, but it is. Uh, you might say, how did you get a signal off a glass bead? But the the thing surrounding it's metal. So I got a signal there, look, on the, the back. So it's maybe a button, I'm not sure. But uh, it's unusual. I like it. Returning to the sun, so you can see that better. I think that's a cog off a... A watch or a clock or something. That bloody Jed Dodd and his iron ring. I don't know. So another one. Threw, threw me up a really good I-70s, 80s signal. 
and that's where it is, iron ring. Alright, it's got a 54 signal and I can only think that that's a bullet lot. 50 groschen. First coin of the day and the first find in a good hour and a half. Uh, don't know what to say, it's very lightweight, it's not old. I'm starting to hit the finds again, it's a button this time. So we're about ready to wrap up, we're just finishing this run and, and we're gone and I just found this little button. Okay, Dave's just done his uh, thing, we just I just told you walking towards the car and he got this really deep signal and bingo! I don't know what he's got, it, it looks pretty round which makes me think it's a one kreutzer. Uh, but I thought I could see something on the back here that resembled Roman figures, I don't know. So for David's sake, I hope it's a Roman, I think it's not, it's probably a one kreutzer. But we'll know when he gets it cleaned up and can I see a tint of silver there on the edge? I don't know, no it's, he gave it's bronze. It has yeah. to be, it's either copper or bronze. Yeah, yeah. He gave off a high signal. Lovely yeah. find, so well, you've had a cracking day David and I'm happy Honestly, for yeah. you. Thank you. Well done. Today we're doing apple pie, apple and rhubarb pie actually. So I've just got some apples here, look, some rhubarb ready. I'm just slicing them up and uh, taking the apple off as much as I can and then throwing the core away. So we'll get all them ready and there you see and just, just peel them off normal. Use a couple of different types of apples if you can. In fact I've got three types here. Okay, so apples are done, look, they're going straight in there, they should do, then you need some sugar, I'm going to take about a cup full of sugar, throw that in. There you go, that'll do. So I've got some nutmeg and I'm just going to throw in a little bit there. Don't, know, don't want to be too much and you don't want to be too little. About half a teaspoonful, something like that. Alright, and then I think you call this in America cornstarch. Throw that in. Mix it until you can't see that cornstarch. Or sugar. So I'm just going to put a spot of lemon juice in, just half a lemon. Stir that in until all that sugar and everything's dissolved and until it's gone. Starting to dissolve now. Okay, now comes the rhubarb. Okay, so let's. I've got the pastry already made there. The rhubarb's going in. The rhubarb is going in. Okay, so now let's get this on a low light. Bingo. And just stir that round. 10-15 minutes on a low light and that will be nice. So while that's cooking, 
we could go do the pastry. I'm just going to wash my hands first. Okay, I, I already made the pastry earlier. It's just got some uh, lard in there. That's all basically, just lard. Mix it all in till it's all blended in. And uh, off we go. Make a well in the middle. And get that mixed in. So I'm going to move everything out of my way. And I'm going to mix this in by hand now. And it's going. Okay. We'll come back to you in a minute when this is done. So what I'm doing is I'm going to roll this pastry now. And uh, I've just put some flour on there so that it doesn't stick. And we'll, we'll take about half of that. Uh, and this will be the base. We'll take this off. This will be the base. And I'm going to cook it on this plate here. And before you roll it, you need to take some flour out there. Otherwise it will just stick. So, okay. And just keep turning it. So we want a nice thickish crust on the bottom there. Uh, trying to roll it so as it's a roundish shape. Get it as round as I can. So let's have that on there. It's on the plate. And it wants rolling a bit more. Sorry. Okay, now it should go. Oh, it still doesn't want to go. Okay, so I'm going to stretch it a bit there. Then you take your knife and you just trim off. You hold that in the middle and trim off. Okay, so one egg. Let me show you what that's for. Simmer that for about 10-15 minutes and we're just going to put the lot in there, in the middle. And that's really well cooked now. You want to roll your top. I'm just going to throw it on the top here and I'm going to do this first. So this is what your eggs for, okay? So go around here. Throw it on there. Get an even covering. Okay. And then just use your thumb. You go around, that will give you the pattern you want. And that will stick it down edge to edge. And then come. Uh -huh. Got to turn it a little bit more. Bingo. Lift your plate up, get your knife, and trim off like before. There's your pie. Make a little hole in the middle so it can escape the steam. You can do that, and that will give it a really a nice brown golden colour that will really make it look appetising apple and rhubarb pie with custard and that will be out of this world one apple and rhubarb pie 
So just waiting for Alice to come back. It's Wednesday again, and as you know, I always cook her something, cook her a meal. Today, uh, I said a while back, if you remember, I missed those pies and chips. So I made some pies there. They're like steak pies, steak and onion pies. And um, I've got some chips ready done there. I've just got to cook them. And uh, I'll do that when Alice comes back. So then we'll start off or we'll start off with the pies, chips and gravy. And finish up with apple pie and custard. So there it is, pie, chips and gravy. Uh, and it tastes almost the same as from the chip shop. I've just put a dab of vinegar on it as well as the gravy, which might upset some of you, but I love it. <laughs> 